I usually edit out a lot of my mistakes in my cake videos, mainly because it's not entertaining and hurts the flow of the video. But if they're really juicy, I post them on my other account. Also, you guys want to know what I do with the ganache, this is what I do. I just pour it all back into the container, but I sift it first. This way, any crumbs get caught and I don't have to worry about them ruining the next cake. But back to the cake. Happy 21st birthday, Morgan. I hope you had a great birthday. I also hope your birthday has a little less hiccups than I had with this cake. I would have showed you guys, but... So we're gonna switch it up today. We're using brownie instead of cake for our ice cream cake. So what is this called, ice cream brownie? I don't know, you tell me. So I'm gonna cut out my brownie, and then we're gonna cut that in half so we can make our two layers. As you can see, brownies are way more dense than cake, so it took me a little longer to cut. They want it to be all chocolate, so it's chocolate ice cream with chocolate chips, with brownie, fudge, and then more chocolate ice cream with chocolate chips, and then eat another layer of brownie. With ganache all over the outside, and then chocolate shavings all along the side. So as you can see, they took our most chocolate cake and they added brownie instead of cake to it, so it's gonna be pretty intense. I've been seeing a lot of negativity on the app, and that's just disheartening. So I wanna challenge you to go through the next three videos on your For You page and say just something kind. Honestly, anything. Just try to make somebody smile, please. We'll bring it right back. It's pretty rare when we get an order like this. This ice cream isn't actually melted. It's the opposite, it's not frozen yet. Sometimes if you're making lots of cakes, it's just easy to use our fresh ice cream because we make our ice cream fresh every day in each store. It saves you a lot of time of scooping and mixing, but also it makes it taste better because the ice cream is a lot fluffier. We also get our cakes sent in, we don't bake it here. They come in big sheets and then we cut it to size that we need. This leads to the cakes being weirdly shaped sometimes, but it all works and you'll never know the difference. For this cake, she asked me to go crazy with the ganache. And so of course I came through and I did three layers of ganache on top. I would pour the ganache on top and then smooth it out with a spatula and then put it in the blast and then let it harden and do it all over again. Once I had three layers on, I added chocolate shavings and drizzled even more on top. I hope I answered most of your questions, but I know you guys have more, so please ask away. But With TikTok, we're fed short clips every day, but you only get to see so much with 15 to 60 second videos. So a lot of our ideas or our favorite personalities have holes in them. What happens is our imagination fills in the gaps. We make the people who we want them to be, which can be good and can be bad. You know what they say about assumptions. I see a lot of comments saying that I seem like a chill guy, which is pretty true. I am a very go with the flow type of person, but that can be bad as well when you get caught up in the flow, which often happens to me and then I forget something like text messages or for instance, this cake that I didn't make. But thank you for being so kind. Alexis, I'm so sorry. But thank you for letting me make it up to you, and happy birthday. But that's one thing that's so crazy about all of this. A call the other day from Summer. At first, I thought it was just a prank order, which we get often now. But it turns out, Summer is a real person, and she really wanted to celebrate her and her boyfriend's anniversary. So she ordered this little cake. It's our petite size, and it feeds two people, so it was perfect for her. I hurried and decorated it for her because she wanted to pick it up extra early. She seemed young and the whole time she wouldn't mention TikTok. And that's why I was so surprised when I got I go on vacation just for a few days and next thing I know I'm getting tagged in all kinds of videos because all these little kids are trying to be me. If anyone does a POV and a voiceover, they obviously just want to be just like me. And if you haven't understood by now, this is a joke. Yes, they've all said they've been inspired by me, but no, it's okay, we can all do our own thing. But I will tag some of my favorites, Morgan at Ancaster DQ, Milad at Subway, and Mr. Jack, he works at our favorite Chipotle. I find it so sad that a few people ruined a good name. Karen's daughter follows me here on TikTok and she wanted me to make a cake for her 10th anniversary. So happy anniversary, Karen. I hope you guys enjoy the cake and have a great day. Guys, I wanna challenge you to stop using Karen as an insult. There are still good Karens out there and that's why. I get a really weird high from making cakes last minute. I'm not sure if it's because so many things can go wrong or because I have to rush so much or if it's just because I've done this for so long so doing something different is just fun. But I made the foolish mistake of scheduling myself a couple shifts when both of my cake decorators are out of town. So I pretty much have two full-time jobs right now, but they're at the same place. So I'm kind of stuck here all day doing all kinds about of stuff. Time. Meanwhile, I still feel like I've got nothing done. But this is one of my favorite cakes. 
It's sweet cream ice cream with brownies mixed in, and then chocolate ice cream with Oreos mixed in, with chocolate cake wrapped in fluffy white frosting with rich fudge ganache dripped on top. I think the high comes from the fact that most people wouldn't do this, and I know that the extra time is making their day and somebody's birthday great. It's honestly crazy because it can be really risky, but... A Karen story. You all want one, and I think this might be it. This is by far one of the strangest ice cream cakes I've made thus far. Raspberry sorbet with golden flakes, and what we had left of our boo batter ice cream with gold flakes and star sprinkles. And we're doing that half and half. Once I've smoothed both of those in the pan, keep them in their halves, it's time to add each half of the cake. The boo batter side is getting red velvet, and the raspberry sorbet is getting yellow. Then it's time to wrap that in white frosting. Once we have all of our white frosting on top of the cake, it's time to add some black sprinkles to the side. This cake had a very unique design for it. It's black, white, and gold. And then all they really wanted on top was a seven, which last time I put a seven on a cake, you guys lost your minds. So tell me what that means, please. Come on, TikTok, please help me figure out what this cake is about and who it's for. You guys always come through because I have a good theory this will become. By now, my whole job feels like muscle memory. And so when you offer helpful tips, I do take them into consideration. So for this cake, I wrote on it before I put the rosettes on top. I get comments all the time asking me to do this because it stresses you out that I write in such a small area. But now since I did that, the writing is off center. I'm not sure if it's because I did the rosettes after or if it's just because I'm doing it on camera, but I appreciate your guys' helpful comments, but this is why I do things the way that I've always done them. I'm thankful for you and this app that brought us together. I'm thankful for my parents who taught me so much, including my work ethic. I'm thankful for this job and the God-given talents that it accentuates. It's truly amazing that through this app, I'm able to share that with all of you. God is good and I have all of this and so much more to be thankful for. What are some things that you guys are thankful for? I'd love to hear them because... It's been a long time since I had someone do something like this but they mix actual cake into the ice cream for their ice cream cake. Their first layer was sweet cream ice cream with yellow cake and whipped topping mixed in. And then they had a layer of yellow cake and a fudge mid layer, then more ice cream and mix-ins, and then their last layer of cake. Then it was time to wrap the whole thing in white frosting. The whipped topping made the cake super soft because whipped topping doesn't freeze. So I had to be fast with this one. So once I covered it with the white frosting, it was time to add my chocolate shavings to it. I did them all the way up the side and a little bit on top. Once I added the board to the top and the bottom, it's time to write my message in pink. What do you think the message said? 